What's up everyone? Welcome to the seventh tutorial on XHTML. Last time we learned uh, how to do a couple things with font and how to make non-breaking spaces and copyright symbols. And today we're really going to get into some deep website development and we're going to begin making links. Now what links are, if you don't know, it's what you click and it takes you to another website. So it's what everyone uses to navigate around the internet. So uh, let's just begin making one. The tag to make a link is A and the ending tag is a typical ending A. And anything in between it, this is my link, is going to become a link. But right now we have a link and it's not taking us anywhere so if we saved it and took a look at it right now what we would see is just a link that we can't click and if we click it then we don't go anywhere so to make it go to another website you need the href attribute that's h r e f and you would type in the title of the website that you want the link to go to in between the co quotation marks. So let's say we want this link to take us to Google. We type http www.google.com and end it with the quotation marks. And now if we saved it and we looked at it in Internet Explorer, you could see that it's now underlined and when we hover over it, the finger pops up and if we actually clicked on it it would take us to Google now this is useful when you want to create a link that's taking you away from your site but let's say you have a site with a couple pages on it and you wanted to navigate from one page to another well the first thing we would need to do is actually make another website so right in notepad file new and uh, again we need the doc type so let's paste it in our new website and of course we need the HTML tags to let the browser know that it actually is a website and remember when we save it we need to save as we'll save this as new and we have to make sure to save it as a HTML file so now we have our first website right here and our second website right here so how would you let me just on our second website let me just add this is our second website so we can distinguish the first one from the second one and we'll type this is my first website in the first one so how would you add a link to go from our first website to our second one? Well actually when you make a link from your own website to another page in your own website you don't need the HTTP. The only thing you need is to type the name of your website followed by HTML. So our name is new.html and for the link we'll put this goes to the new website so now if we save that and we have to save this when we looked at it Internet Explorer then we could see that this link when we click it it's taking us to our second page in our website and to create a link to go back we would all we would have to do let's type in a it's for the opening link tag href equals and in quotation marks type test because that was the name of our first website dot html end it with quotation marks bracket go back to main page and end it with the a so now if we save that when we viewed it in Internet Explorer you could see that 
this is our first website and this is the link that's taking us to the new web page and this is the second web page and if we want to go back we just simply click, click that but let's say instead of just keeping it in the same window that we actually wanted to open up a second window well to do this you need another attribute and this is called the target attribute anytime you want to open up a web page in a new window you have to type in your opening um, link tag type target equals underscore blank and end it with the quotation marks now if you save that and looked at an Internet Explorer you can see that whenever we click on this link a whole new website opens in a new window so this is useful if you want to keep visitors to your site but offer them a link to go to another site as well so that's all the time we have for right now in our next tutorial we're going to be talking more about links and also about email links and if you're not already there you can go to www.thenewboston.com for a step-by-step -step tutorial on everything we went over today thank you